Good evening, everyone. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com here. 2017 Panini Classics Football. It's a five-box random division break number four from jazbeeshobbyland.com. It's the second half of that inner case we did last night. Uh, I did post another one. That's from a fresh master case. So we'll select an inner case, blah, 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 blah. But for, break number, or, uh, for random division break number four, big thanks to these folks for getting into the action. Mike Costa with that last bot mojo. There are the divisions right there. And let's roll the dice seven times for each list. One. Two, three, four, five, six, and seventh and final time. Mike Cosby, who got the last spot, now is on top. He's on the pole. And Blake with the number eight spot. Six and a one, seven times for the divisions. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seventh and final time. NFC West down to the AFC North. And here's how it shakes out. Remember, this is 2017, so this includes all of the new uh, rookie class from this latest draft. Mike Koster, NFC West. Matthew Rourke, AFC West. Nick Drowski, NFC East. Tyrone, NFC South. John Parker, AFC South. Tice, AFC East. XT, NFC North. And Blake, AFC North. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. That's the randomizing portion of the video. When I come back, we're going to see if there's any trades, and then we'll have the five box break. Stick around. All right, welcome back, folks. There were no trades, so this list that you saw on the previous screen remains the same. Random division number four, second half of the case on a Friday, Friday the 26th. Thanks, everybody, for getting in. So here's all five boxes here, which I marked four, so you all know they're from the same case. Trust me, these are fours. Four and four. One autograph, one memorabilia per box. Oh, he was a wide receiver for the Redskins. We were just talking about Gary Clark. Well, we were, we were playing some Gary Clark Jr. on the radio, or on my playlist that I make, the music playlist that I make. And then Porterhouse Steak was like, hey, Name the name guitar phenom and a borderline Hall of Fame wide receiver who shared the same name. I was like Gary Clark, and I was like, "What?" Or, Gary Clark Jr. is his dad the Gary Clark? Or no? <laughs> um, I know we pulled one buyback from the divisional Blake. We pulled a Tory Holt. Yesterday, there's no relation to those two. Okay, uh, we pulled Tory Holt, but I don't remember what else we pulled buyback wise. I don't know. I just kind of black out when I do breaks, and then, and then, uh, and then I leave it to you guys to remember. But breaks one through four are from the same master case. Uh, are they supposed to be one per inner case? or one per master case, or two per master case. I have no idea how it goes. Okay, good luck, folks. Box number one. Oh, there are two buybacks per master case. You know what? We pulled a Phil Sims, didn't we? In the first inner case. So two per master case. Yeah, I remember a Phil Sims in like breaks either one or two. Probably one, maybe one or two. And then... Um, what you call it and then uh and then yeah and then that tory holt so i guess both buybacks have been pulled from the master case all right uh the team logo is right here paul t russell wilson nine at oh the college players you mean yeah i don't know why they oh yeah these get randomized left and right 
There's Mike Williams for the uh, Chargers. So all the rookies are still in their college gear. So that's what takes a little bit of time. Do that. 216 out of 299, Antonio Freeman for the NFC North. Oh, that Russell Wilson goes to the NFC West. Mike Coster with that one, obviously. Justin Davis, 31 out of 299. I'm going to set the college players aside. I'll make it easier for us to sort everything out. Oh, you're going by what we said in our description. You know what? I want to look now. Hang on. I'm sure our viewers want to know too. Buybacks, buybacks, buybacks. Averaging two, oh, well, you know what? Cardboardconnection.com also says averaging two per case. I'm assuming it's master case because in cardboardconnection.com, it says 10 cards per pack, 14 packs per box, 20 boxes per case. So they don't distinguish that it's it's uh it, there's inner cases in there. So I think it's just two per master case. Did I pass by a sepia? I think I've been passing those by. My coster. But I think some of them like this is this isn't sepia, right? You were talking about this. See, is this considered a sepia? Because I think the the photo is already black and white. I think if it was Eric Dickerson and in sepia, I think that would make it sepia. But I think there are a number of the old school players which only have black and white photos. I think I don't think those are considered sepia. Or are they? So like these are already black and white, right? See, because I think these, I have no idea, to be honest with you. I think there was one that was clearly sepia because it was like Ezekiel Elliott, but it was in it was in sepia. I don't know. They don't they don't make it easy on us. Here's the autograph, though. It's Clemson's Artavis Scott out of 199. Now I have a checklist up right here. That's all. That's all alphabetized. And Artavis Scott is a Charger, NFC West. There you go. See these? I'll actually write down because it's. Let's put the post-it note on there. All right, so that goes to the Chargers and the NFC West. That'll go to Mike Coster for the last spot. Mojo getting that auto. Yeah, remember when you first, uh, yeah so, so those are just regular black and whites, right, Darren? I think the sepia should be pretty obvious. Dee Dee Westbrook out of two ninety nine. Let's see. I think that's just a regular black and white. I'm pretty sure. Or sorry, AFC West. That goes to Matthew Rourke, my bad. Getting all confused here. I don't want to look up. Uh, Jaguars, D.D. Westbrook. Justin Davis. We might as well send him there. Rams. That's NFC West. Yeah, so we'll send the charter. We'll, we'll, take the, uh, we'll take the Seahawks back. Bring the Seahawks back to the AFC West. We'll trade. 47 out of 99 classic combos for the Steelers. AFC North, Blake. Alex Smith out of 299. Chiefs, AFC West. Oh yeah, so that's a sepia, right, Darren? 
That's got to be a sepia. All right, that was box one. So slide those here, move that there, move that one there. All right, box two. Next box. Oh, yeah. They're AFC West now. I'm losing my mind. We were we were here. I was here too late last time. <laughs> Porter House Steak is calling a Mitch Trubisky autograph coming up. Is he in this set? He's got to be in this set. Is Trubisky the real deal? Is he going to start? He's not going to start, right? Why, why would they pay Matt Glenn and all that money? What's up, Casey? Right, he went to the Bears, right? Trubisky. When we were at the, uh, at the NFLPA rookie premiere... Remember, uh, there was like a small Q&A section or a uh, portion of the panel that they had with the rookies. And, Len and Mitch Trubisky was there. And Leonard Fournette pretty much was like, Mitch, you, you screwed up the entire draft. <laughs> Definitely won't start, says the guy, says Blake and Darren. For how long? And if the Bears coaching staff is on the hot seat, why would they get Trubisky? I don't understand. I don't understand why they would trade up to get someone there at a 299, unless they have the, the dreaded vote of confidence from the ownership saying, hey, don't worry, plan for the future. <laughs> Eccentric, what's going on? There's Jordy Nelson for the NFC North at a 299. Packers. We're just talking about Mitch Trubisky right here. There he is. There's Derek Carr. That's got to be sepia. For the Raiders, AFC West. And we have Jamal Adams, 25 out of 199. Jamal Adams is a Jet, 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 AFC East. Tice with that one. There you go. Looking for a uh, relic on this. Uh, yeah, only vet base does not ship in this. Uh, I don't know what our next couple breaks are, eccentric. None have filled yet. There are breaks that we're planning, or that we're trying to do, though. One of them is Spectra football, as Darren says. And then whatever else fills up after that. We've got until 11 o'clock Pacific. So plenty of time to fill up breaks and do breaks. Three out of five. Look at this. Bruce Bernard Smith. That must be those full name ones. Yes, Bruce Bernard Smith for the Bills. Don't look, Ronbo. Nice. AFC East Tice with the Bruce Smith. All aboard the Big Hit Express Tice.
I've heard of this guy, Joe Montana, at a 299 for the Niners, NFC West. And here is the relic, classic materials, Larry Fitzgerald. 66 out of 199, NFC West and the Cardinals, Mike Coster. All right, so those are our two hits out of there. And any numbered cards at the end? Any other secret parallels? No, it doesn't look like it. And Ed Reed on the back. There we go. Box two in the books. We'll sleeve these up later. All right, next box. Good luck. This is a pretty solid product, ladies and gentlemen. At a very friendly price point. And a potential for some for some big hits. I think set builders really like this too. I think they released this for the first time last year, right? In 2016. I think that was their first release last year. I remember we were at the rookie premiere around that time. And they were saying they and the the folks from Panini were there and they specifically said, yeah. We want to, this is a product specifically created for, uh, it's created, specific, uh, created specifically for uh, set builders to kind of chase different variations and build sets and whatnot. So it was kind of a nod to them, people who uh, set build. Chance to get the rookies kind of early on was another big important thing. There's Ezekiel Elliott out of 299. So the red back variations are serial numbered. And it's at a very friendly price point too. So I think people like that as well. There's OJ Howard, 15 out of 50, Buccaneers, I believe, NFC South. Aaron Rodgers, Sepia. Terrell Pryor. I thought the Browns were definitely going to re-sign Terrell Pryor. And there's Kellen Winslow. 178 out of 299. AFC West. Chargers. And Curtis Martin, nice flashback fabrics, 117 out of 399. AFC East, another one for Tice. Oh, Tice, I think you had asked earlier if there's Brady autos. I don't know if there's, I don't think there's Brady autos in this. I would, I would highly doubt it. Brady autos are, are few and far between. And so they usually save them for like big products like Flawless or National Treasures. Um, sometimes they throw into some random products. Like I've seen, he's been in black gold. And he was in impeccable too, but that was a high end product. 
Do we not see a... Oh, where's the autograph? Did I miss the autograph? No, that's impossible. This is the relic. Now, Jamal Adams was from the previous box, right? Yeah, that was the auto relic, and then the other one was auto relic. Seriously? I, I couldn't have, they're, they're backward. I couldn't have possibly missed it. There was no auto. Come on. Couldn't have missed it. It would have been pretty obvious. No, I don't see an auto in here, folks. That's disappointing. Well, yeah, we we have we have the video of this. I mean, that's the thing. This is how they get you on average. So that's clearly a below average box. Yeah, maybe there's maybe there will be an above average box. I'll double check again, but I, I it, it would be pretty difficult for me to miss. <laughs> For me to miss an autograph, especially since they're they're turned around, you know, or the autograph would have been obvious if it wasn't turned around. So, hmm. but yeah, usually how usually that that's what the on on average disclaimer is for. That would be an ex <laughs> Blake's like every card is an auto in the next box. Then there would be like a an entire case. Like multiple cases with like no autographs at all, which would be sad time for someone else. Come on, two autos. We got Marshawn Lattimore out of 99. The Marshawn Lattimore goes to the Saints, NFC South, Tyrone. See, that's a relic. There, see, the autos look like this. They're they're backwards. And then there, Cooper Cup. 19 out of 25 on that one. Cup goes to the Rams? Yeah, Rams. That is NFC West. That is for Mike Coster. There you go, Rams in the NFC West. Your Canton Collections relic for the Steelers is out of 299, Rod Woodson. That'll be AFC North, Blake. Well, Joe says, you're welcome, Mike Coster. 
Why don't more people need to speak in the third person, I think? Another one for the Steelers, 112 out of 299. Big Ben Roethlisberger. Archie Manning, Saints edition, 13 out of, has he, was he always Saints? Oh, blank back, nice. 13 out of 50. NFC South, Tyrone. So one relic, one auto, bonus auto maybe? Because we didn't see a box in the other one that said that had two autos. 72 out of 299, Jabril Peppers. Why do I not remember where Peppers went? Browns? Browns. That's right. Browns had a pretty solid draft. AFC North, Blake. One left in Spectra, says Porterhouse Steak. All right, well, let's do it. John Elway, AFC West, out of 299. And that's that. There's Dwight Clark. All right, down to our last box. How many games are the Browns going to win next year, you guys? They got close to winning a lot of games, actually. Casey says one. Arthur says six. Porterhouse Stakes says five. I mean, they got close to winning like four games last year, you know? A couple close ones. I don't see why they can't win a handful of games at least. Hey, now. Come on, Arthur. I was very nice to your Cowboys today. He's like more than the Raiders. Tice says zero. You really think they're going to go zero wins? They're not that bad. I mean, every team scratches out a win, right? King Kex is two. The Raiders at their worst. We did go two wins one season, didn't we? In the last like six, seven years, there was like a bad two and 14 season, I think. Whew. Shudder. Mike Cody says six. Wow, Tyson's two beats the Steelers both the time. Oh, Michael House, Mr. Optimism, says, I'm going to go out on a limb say he they go 500 this season. That's the thing. There's always, there's always a team. There's always a team that was terrible last year that flips the switch and wins a bunch this year. You know what I mean? And there's always a great team that somehow just does terribly, you know? Every year that happens. Julius Peppers, 30 out of 50 flashback fabrics for the NFC North and the Bears, XT with that one. There you go. That's Zay Jones out of two ninety nine. The Zay Hay Kid. Zay Jones goes to the Bills. AFC East, Tice. Q 
Casey, okay, so you're saying the Jaguars, like the Jaguars are going to be like the surprise team next year? They've got a really good team on paper. Out of 25. Was that 17? Yeah, 17 out of 25. David Johnson, NFC West. That goes to Mike Coster. Yeah, they, they got a Jag, – Jaguars have a really good team on paper. They could easily turn it around, win a, win a bunch of games. 32 out of 299, Ed Reed, AFC North, Ravens. Cam Chancellor, NFC West, Seahawks. It's one of those sepias. Blank back out of 50, 7 out of 50, Solomon Thomas. Ezekiel Ansa, NFC North, 90 out of 299. Oh, I was, I was worried that there wouldn't be an autograph. 48 out of 99, OJ Howard, Buccaneers, NFC South, Tyrone. Right? Buccaneers? Yeah, Buccaneers. Got it. Nailed it. <laughs> Nailed that one. Uh, we only have one case, Darren, and that will be... It's on the... Uh, I think we only have one case. Sorry. And the second half is already up as a pick your team as well. All right, so there you go. Tyrone, NFC South. That's the auto. There's the relic. And any other stuff at the end? No, that's it. Darren Woodson at the very end. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. That was uh, Random Division Break number four. Classics. We'll sleeve these up and look up the college players as well. Make sure they all go to the right place. Um, let's do the left and right randomizer for all the cards that had lefts and rights. So let's go to a blank list on ram.org, left, right. Let's randomize that list seven times, two and a five. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Left side, we'll get those. And that's it, folks. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com, classics in the books. The next half case of classics is in the store, jazbeeshobbyland.com. And that comes from a... a uh, a master case. So there you go. Thanks, everyone. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.